Hi, I'm Digby Grounds. I'm the senior plant breeder here at Kings Park. Pink Pearl is our first release uh, of our Eremophila breeding and development program. So it's a real milestone there. and We're really proud to have WA Parks Foundation uh, as part of that. So we selected Eremophila Pink Pearl to be the floral emblem for our partnership with the WA Parks Foundation uh, because the species is critically endangered and its natural habitat has been extensively cleared for farming and so now it only occurs on roadsides in a few areas uh, in, the, in the northern Wheatbelt. We collected uh, the pink form of Eremophila nivea in 2020 and it was really to be used in the breeding program. This particular form has pink flowers compared to the normal purple and so that makes it even rarer uh, and is therefore an ideal candidate for um, highlighting our ex situ conservation program here at Kings Park. Ex situ conservation uh, means off-site conservation of rare and threatened species and Kings Park's got a, a really strong program in that. People can buy this plant and put it in their gardens and in that way we can ensure that the plant doesn't become extinct. So, Eremophila, there's a large number of species here in Western Australia and they're generally from desert regions. So that makes them ideal candidates for a bring and development program where we want to produce resilient, hardy plants that use less water, but are also highly attractive to birds and insects and other urban fauna. This plant does really well in a large ceramic pot and looks really good as well. The, the silver foliage and the pink flowers are just really striking. You can put it in the ground as long as it's in a, a place where it gets a lot of airflow. Most silver foliage plants that come from WA don't like really crowded conditions. So as long as there's lots of airflow, it'll do really well. Just fertilise it with a normal slow release fertiliser every six months or so. And they do pretty well uh, without water or with low water regime. So, you know, watering every two or three days works quite well. Over the next few years, we'll see a number of uh, different Eremophilus come out of the Kings Park Breeding and Development Program for Eremophila. Next year there's probably going to be two or three and then it'll be ongoing uh, from then.